I mean, there were there were a lot of a lot of games that you know our coach said you know in order to get to the NCAA tournament, you know we had to have it. Man. Appreciate it, uh, y'all too. Um, that we had to have it, you know, and, and we were put in a lot of those situations, and every time we needed a win, we got one. And just just our hard work and everything just paid off today. You know, this, this is the most exciting part of my career by far. It's that much, it makes that much um, more special, man, just helping out, you know, and uh, like I said about myself, you know, it's just been a journey since I've been in a Penn State uniform, you know, and uh, Finally to finally make it, man, and be going up the roller coaster because I think we're playing good basketball right now, man. Uh, I think it's big because um, now we can do what we got to do to win games and, uh, you know, and uh, try to go as far as we can in the tournament. You know, 68 teams have made it, you know, but um, it's about what you do with that opportunity that makes it even better. How do you prevent going into this feeling like, yeah, we made it? You know, how do you how do you keep it going instead of instead of just feeling satisfied now? Um. Only thing you can do, man, is just uh, be happy right now and tomorrow. You know, I have a clear mind, man. Just know that we have another game to be worried about, you know. So uh, don't be too big-headed about it. Don't be too proud or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, we just, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, we had a lot of tough games that we were able to pull out, you know what I mean, and then we won this run in the tournament. Sure that we, uh, you know, unfortunately, we couldn't win, but, you know, I think that showed you know, this team has a lot of heart, a lot of toughness, and um, so we play well as a team. So, uh, you yeah, know, we have an opportunity out in Arizona, so we're going to take full advantage of it. What, what's it going to take to not just be satisfied to get there? But yeah, you know this is this reminds me of when I was in high school. When we won our our section championship, <clears throat> and I remember saying, you know, we had, you know, we we were, you know, acting like that was the biggest moment in our lives. And my coach, you know, sat us down and said, you know, we're not satisfied. We want to continue to win, you know, and that's what we want to do. You know, celebrate today, you know, but tomorrow understand that we gotta get ready and prepare for work and really go out and try to win some games. How about Temple specifically? What what do you guys? You're familiar with them. We're very familiar with them. We played them two years straight. We pre we scrimmaged them this year. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, they're big, strong. They play similar to us. You know, we just got to make sure you know, we're ready to play. Uh, I'm sure they have a great game plan. Never been in the NCAA tournament, but I'm, an, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, they, you know they're going to know all about what we run, you know, and, and same as us for them. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. I don't know what to say. Through, through the course of this season, you, you, you had so many moments where you had to get a win. Did it ever feel like this might not happen? I didn't think about it not happening. I, I just, I just said to uh, our staff several days when we needed a big win or we got beat and it was a tough loss that we just got to stay the course. Let's just stay the course. Let's just do what we do and uh, continue to fight. And hopefully, good things will happen for us at the end. And the kids believed in that. And I told last them last week we met. Give me six days. Give me your focus. Give me your energy for six days. And, uh, and we'll grind you, and we'll see if we can somehow, you know, win some games in this tournament to do what we need to do to get in the NCAA tournament. And they did.